In this tutorial, learn how to use an ESP32 node MCU to display the device's local, LAN, and public, WAN, IP addresses on a Mac 72 198 digit 7 segment display. Materials required ESP32 node MCU, Mac 72 198 digit 7 segment display, Wiring setup. Connect the 3.3V pin on the ESP32 to the VCC pin on the Mac 7219 to power the display. Link the GND pin on the ESP32 to the GND pin on the Mac 7219 to complete the circuit. For data connections, connect the DIN pin on the Mac 7219 to GPIO 23 on the ESP32 for data input. Then, Connect the CLK pin on the Mac 7219 to GPIO 18 on the ESP32 to synchronize data timing. Finally, link the CS pin on the Mac 7219 to GPIO 5 on the ESP32 for display module selection. Once you've finished the wiring, connect your ESP32 board to your PC or laptop with a USB cable. This will power up the ESP32, which in turn will supply power to the Mac 7219 display. Next, open the Arduino IDE on your computer. Then, load the sample code provided in the video description. There are two code available, one is LAN IP address and another one one IP address display, now let's start with LAN IP display code. Install the LED control library in your Arduino IDE to control the Mac 7219 display. For detailed steps, please refer to the previous part of our video. This code connects to a Wi-Fi network, retrieves the local IP address, and displays it on an LED matrix controlled by a Mac 7219 chip. Be sure to modify the SSID and password variables to match your Wi-Fi network credentials before uploading the code. Open the Arduino IDE and navigate to Tools the board. From the drop-down menu, select ESP32 Dev Module, or the specific ESP32 model you are using. Next, go to Tools Port and select the port that corresponds to your connected ESP32 board. This ensures the IDE communicates with your ESP32 for uploading the code. Click on the Verify button to compile the code and check for any errors. Once the code is successfully compiled, Click Upload to send it to your ESP32. Following these steps will ensure the code is properly compiled and uploaded to your ESP32 board. Once the upload is complete, you'll see a message confirming that the code has been uploaded successfully. At this point, your ESP32 will begin executing the code, and the Mac 7219 display will show the LAN IP address of the ESP32 board, as specified in your code. This allows you to easily view the local IP address of your ESP32 device directly on the 8-digit 7-segment display. To get started with displaying your one public IP on the LED display, install the LED control library via the Arduino IDE's library manager. The Wi-Fi and HTTP client libraries come pre-installed with the ESP32 core, so no separate installation is needed. Ensure that the ESP32 board support is installed in the Arduino IDE for successful code compilation. Once the libraries are set up, you'll be ready to run the project on your ESP32. Also, remember that this code connects to a Wi-Fi network, retrieves the WAN IP address, and displays it on the LED matrix controlled by the Mac 7219 chip. Be sure to modify the SSID and password variables to match your Wi-Fi network credentials before uploading the code. Click on the Verify button in the Arduino IDE to compile the code and check for any errors. Once the code is successfully compiled, click Upload to send it to your ESP32. Following these steps will ensure that the code is properly compiled and uploaded to your ESP32 board. After the upload is complete, you'll see a message confirming that the code has been uploaded successfully. Your ESP32 will then begin executing the code, and the Mac 7219 display will show the wide area network one, IP address of the ESP32, as specified in your code. 
This allows you to easily view the public IP address of your internet device directly on the 8-digit 7-segment display. If this video was helpful, please consider supporting us by liking, sharing, or subscribing to our channel. Your support allows us to keep creating valuable content and resources for our audience. Every bit of support makes a big difference, and we truly appreciate it. Thank you.